Okay, so uh, we are live again. Um, I'm trying to uh, understand actually uh, which uh, are the gowns that you know I like most this year on the red carpet. And uh, I have to say that you know uh, so far I'm not impressed as always. Okay, I I know that I always say like this every time, and I'm not, I'm not impressed. But it, it's because I don't see anything special. You know, like pretty much. The gowns always look the same, really, there is nothing new. I'm sorry to say that, you know, but that's the fruit of it, okay? Um, okay, so let's see, let's see who is doing well or not, okay. So far, possibly, uh, the gown of Heidi Klum would be the one that you know, I like most, but again, you know, it's princess style, it's something that we've seen in the past, nothing new, beautiful, nothing new. Uh, I didn't like a few and uh, uh, I'm not gonna say anything about tuxedo because all men look great in tuxedo so you know even if you put a very ugly man in tuxedo it's gonna look great that's the fruit of it <laughs> but possibly you know we have something different let's see okay oh. so we have uh, Eddie Redmayne that he, it is wearing a, a tux with a, a velvet jacket Okay, some black velvet jacket that's very elegant, something very particular. I like it. Okay, let's move on. Uh, Priyanka Chopra, she has a kind of lazy kind of thing. Yeah, right. Okay, sure, Sharona. I'm gonna have to say sorry, I don't like the dress. Green, she's Irish, wearing green. Yeah, okay, no, I don't like it. Um, mm -hmm. Let's see, Olivia Wilde. No, move on. I'm not gonna say anything else. Okay, today I'm like this, guys. I'm sorry. Okay, Sofia Vergara, wonderful. Okay, she has a beautiful, beautiful, uh, say, a princess gown, and you know, it is actually all kind of draped, um, and you know, it has uh, a few kind of. Um, Embroidering and things that you know, are actually you know, could be black, I would say. Uh, so yeah, okay. And uh, the gown uh, is actually in uh, blue silk chiffon. Okay, so that's really, really a very uh, kind of good fabric, and uh, I like it. So let's see. Uh, Daisy. Ridley, okay, not elegant, that's it. Whoopi Goldberg, too, kind of, you know, classy and, you know, dark kind of style. Uh, I, I, I don't love very much people who wear uh, black at the awards, okay, because uh, it is actually a color that, you know, doesn't actually make uh, ladies uh, look uh, say stunning or you know particularly uh, kind of uh, special okay like black it's uh, a dress that you know is going to say okay I don't want to risk so I'm gonna wear black because in this way I know that you know I will look elegant no the red carpet is a place where you have to take the risk so I'm sorry but you know for everyone who is wearing black I don't love black or red carpets Okay, let's move on. Uh, I was saying before, uh, Alicia uh, Vikander, she has a yellow dress, okay, she took the risk. So, okay, so it's not a beautiful shape, but she took the risk, fine. Uh, we see many times yellow on red carpets, maybe because it looks great for photographs, I don't know, but okay. Uh, she is uh, Jordan Bloom with Dave Grohl. But elegant. Okay, he he has a blue tuxedo, so you know that's a nice choice. And let's move on. I'm trying to see, you know, who, no one has a special dress. <laughs> uh oh, I'm never happy with the red carpets. Okay. This is. Why don't you say anything? Because it's like, okay, I've seen this one, I've seen this one, too boring, okay, what's this? 
Chloe Perry. Okay, that's different. Uh, she has uh, a very, very uh, strange, like a mosaic, say, pattern on top, and uh, a blue skirt uh, in the bottom. Okay, that's something a bit different. Orlando Jones. Wow, where did they took that jacket? <laughs> oh my God. I'm gonna have an art attack for that one. Okay, so Michael Strahan. Okay, very elegant. Uh, it's a uh, kind of light blue tuxedo, something different. I like it, it looks great. Okay, okay. Not okay, but I'm not gonna say who. <laughs> Alright, I'm sorry, I'm a bit like this today. Alright, so let's see what's happening on Twitter. I didn't realize there was a dress code when we were at home watching Stephanie. Yes, there is a dress code. <laughs> there is a dress code. We are doing better than the red carpets. Except there's not to it, guys. Now, really, I don't know why, but I kind of get bored with uh, red carpets because they're always the same but you know that that's really because you know that there is nothing new in fashion and uh, you know that's something that really makes me kind of sad you know but I don't want to be sad for the red carpet time okay now you know what I'm gonna do uh, because I see a lot of uh, our lovely, lovely people here uh, on Twitter. So uh, I'm going to actually uh, tell them that we're over on Periscope, you know, because uh, otherwise many of them might not know, you know, and uh, 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 we are live again. Yes, yes, we are. Okay, let's see, live again. Woo. What else do we have over here? Ruth! Ruth is online! Hi! Mark as well! Hi guys! And uh, okay, some people there drinking champagne. Yeah, it's not the usual thing, red carpet and champagne. Okay, I I'm kind of unconventional this year. Like, I'm tired of seeing always the same things, okay? Right. Okay. Again, we are on the red carpet, uh, pictures, yeah, I, I'm, I'm really not happy, like, you know, because really there is nothing new, guys, you know, the dress are always the same, like, why, oh why, people don't take any risk for the red carpet time, you know, it, it is actually a very, very special moment to show great fashion and really in the last uh, four or five years I didn't see anything that you know really uh, catches my eye you know like uh, nothing that you know I, I can say was really wonderful I don't know if it's because of the designers if you know they, they don't have great ideas uh, in the last years because you know they're always coping like you know the style of the 40s and the 50s and the 60s, they want to keep this kind of, you know, usual Hollywood glamour. Come on guys, let's take some risks, okay? Like, you know, uh, fashion really needs something different. Uh, you see the Golden Globes, you see Saga Awards, you see the Oscars, it's always looking the same. I'm sorry to say that, but you know, that, that's really it, you know, and, uh, um, you know, the fact that there is nothing new is not great because you have to think that you know if people see something beautiful on the red carpet they want to wear it okay so like you know, that's gonna make some kind of trend but in this way there is uh, never something that you know really makes a trend like it is always the same old soup you know that, that's the truth of it usually you know I, I try to, to say that everything is okay it is not okay because you know, it's always the same stuff. 
okay, they're even doing some kind of throwback of the other years. Yeah. So what do you guys think like about you know what, what you see so far? Like you know, tell me. Hello Michelle, I see you're there online. Hey. Okay. You know what? Because I'm born with red carpet, I think you know we're actually going back to talk about the words again. Okay, uh, there are uh, there is actually uh, a lot of attention on what uh, will actually happen on uh, you know, the uh, actual uh, Oscar show uh, because you know, many people are, uh, were saying, oh, you know, what will Chris Rock do when he opens the show and so on, like, you know, what uh, is he going to say, some people are terrified too. <laughs> But uh, I'm just crossing my fingers that you know, uh, nothing wrong will happen because um, this year was already like not a, a great show to see uh, Ricky uh, Gervais on the Golden Globes and you know I didn't like it and I did say this when we were having our chat online during the Globes um, because you know uh, it it was too vulgar, uh, it wasn't the kind of style that actually the words should have. And I hope it doesn't happen the, the same kind of thing uh, for the Oscars today. Because, you know, the Oscars are really some kind of um, a holy thing, if you want to say that. Like, you know, it's kind of, you know, the holy grail of all the words and, you know, uh, it has to be treated in a certain way. So, uh, the fact that, uh, you know, Chris Rock, sometimes he can go a bit over the edge with his way of, you know, having uh, a gag or, you know, uh, having, having, you know, kind of uh, fun and so on. I don't know, I just cross my fingers that, you know, nothing that, you know, is um, out uh, of style, if you want to say that, will happen. Like, um, I actually don't understand uh, why there is this uh, trend uh, in the last years of having all, you know, the various awards, Golden Globes and Oscars always uh, hosted by comedians. Like, I have nothing wrong, wrong with comedians, uh, I love them, I love the work, but I don't think it is appropriate actually to give the whole show in the hands of comedians because, um, you know, the film industry, as I was saying in my first uh, Periscope before, uh, it's really an industry that, you know, um, it has some kind of, uh, you know, holiness to, to the work that, that it is put, you know, in, in the movies. So, uh, and you know, these awards are done because uh, we have to recognize the work that um, people did, you know, actually to, to realize these movies. So, you know, the, the fact that uh, there can be you know, a bit of lack of style sometimes in the way these um, guys usually host you know, these shows and so on. Uh, it is something that you know, is not great for the movie industry. Like, I, for, for instance, like, I did like very much a few years ago when uh, Billy Crystal was actually hosting the Oscars. Because the fact that you know, somebody uh, who is uh, uh, an actor and you know, an actor of um, a certain kind of uh, background, if you want to say that, uh, was actually hosting the awards. I think it really made it special, and you know, it gave like the right uh, style of hosting, the right style of presentation, and you know, everything went perfectly. And I would love to see uh, awards that you know are actually hosted that way, uh, because uh, uh, really of some kind of respect. You know, to the work that all these people casting through do for you know these movies. So you know they do deserve our respect for the work they do, and uh, so you know it's their night, and it has to be uh, actually treated in a certain way with class and with glamour, and you know with that kind of uh, respect that you know they deserve. So I hope you know it will go like this. Like uh, otherwise, you're going to hear <laughs> from me later on on Twitter. Like you know that I'm gonna say what I think always.
that's me. Okay, so what else, what else, guys? Uh, let's see if there is something new from red carpets. Let's see, let's see, like, you know, some new pictures or something like that. And, uh, we are sure, no, we sure are, that's our name. <laughs> okay. Right. Okay, who is there? I'm just checking out for you guys, like, you know, what's going on. Yeah, well, I was actually uh, realizing that uh, a few years ago, uh, I think it was maybe uh, 2011 or something like this, uh, there was a periscope at, at the time, but uh, we actually uh, did try to do uh, a bit of uh, live streaming back then, and, you know, having a few interviews and so on with, with people over the phone. So maybe we should try and do this again for next year, like you know, ha having you know some of you talking with me, um, and why not? Like, wh why don't we try this? You know, maybe uh, even you know. During the year, not really for the awards, but you know, maybe getting ready for uh, next year for the awards and you know, doing a bit more of interaction, maybe on Skype or something like this. Okay, I'm, I'm just throwing this uh, at our producers because I want them uh, actually to like this kind of idea. But because you know, we did this in the past when we didn't have Periscope, and you know, now that we have this kind of tool and you know, that we can actually stream live so uh, easily. Uh, it wasn't like this back then in 2011 when we tried this, so uh, and when you know we tried a few other times along the years. So possibly we're gonna do that. I see someone, our producer that is doing that. Like, <laughs> okay, guys. Right. So I would say that for the moment we might take a break because um, I want to uh, connect with uh, Arnie. Okay, and I want to see uh, what uh, is actually, um, you know, uh, able to see from his position over there. So uh, I might say uh, bye bye for now, and I'll see you later.